In the last two lectures, we defined routes for our Angular application. Now, in this lecture, let's make this navigation links in this navigation bar react to these routes. So, we are defining these links in the app component.html file. So, inside this app component.html, here we are defining these links using this anchor tag. And for each of these anchor tags, we have this href attribute. Now, one way to make these links to react to the routes is by specifying the route path. So here we are specifying these paths for these routes, right? So what we want is when this home link is clicked, we want to display the view of home component. So what we can do is we can assign this path to this href attribute, okay? the href attribute of the anchor element, which is creating this home link. In the same way, for this about, we can specify the path as about. So when this about link will be clicked, that means this route will be called. And when this route will be called, in that case, the view of this about component will be displayed. Okay. In the same way, let's also specify the path for the href of contact link. So here the path will be contact. And for the courses link, let's specify the path as courses. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let's see if these links are working or not. So when I click on this about link, you will notice that we are being redirected to the about page. When I click on this contact link, we are being redirected to contact page. And when I click on this courses link, we are being redirected to courses page. In the same way, when I click on this home link, we are being redirected to home page. So these links are working as expected and the required view is being loaded. However, here we have an issue. And the issue is when we click on these links, it is reloading the app. So notice this refresh icon here. When I click on any of these links, this refresh icon is spinning. It is reloading the app. And that's the default behavior. With every link we click, a new request gets sent to the server and it returns us a new page. And since this page is still our Angular app with the routes registered on it, it is able to give us the correct route. And this is not the best behavior because that means that it will restart our app on every time we navigate around. That means our whole application state will be lost and it might not be the behavior we want to offer to our user. Okay, so this is not how you should implement navigation in Angular. Okay, so instead of using href, what we can do is we can use a directive called router link. Okay, so let's replace this href with router link directive. And let's do the same thing for other links. Now, this router link is an attribute directive. And since we have not used it inside square brackets, that's why we are able to specify a string value to it. But if I use square, if I use it within square brackets, in that case, this router link will look for a property with this name about. So what we can do is either we can wrap this about within quotes like this. So this will also work. Or what we can also do is we can assign it with an array. And inside this array, we can specify some values. So this is the path which we want to assign to this router link. And with this path, we can also specify other values. Like for example, if we want to pass a parameter with that route. Okay, so let's say in the URL, if we want to have a route like root URL slash contact slash 10. So that second part, that 10, we can pass as second argument like this. Now we will talk about this syntax in great detail in our coming lectures. For now, let's just simply assign this path contact to this router link. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now when we click on these links, we are still navigating to different pages, but you will not see this refresh icon spin. That means it is not reloading the app. It is not restarting the app. That's because 
Router link catches the click on the element, prevents the default behavior of sending the request, and instead it analyzes what we passed here to the router link directive. Then it passes the path which we have assigned to this router link and it checks if there is a fitting route in our configuration. Okay. And this is how we can navigate around with the router link. And this is how we should navigate around because it gives user a better experience and it does not restart the app. Therefore, it keeps the app state and it's much faster than reloading the page all the time. Okay. Now, when we are navigating around, we are successfully able to navigate around. But if you notice, in the navigation bar, we are not showing the active link. So, for example, currently I am in about us page. So, when I am in this page, this about link should be styled in some way so that the user will come to know that this about is the active link. So, it will tell user that currently he is in about page. In the same way, if I go to contact page, then we want to style this contact link in some way so that the user will come to know that he is in contact page. Let's see how to do that in our next lecture.